What's up everyone, Steven here from techmaker.tv. In this episode, we're going to be finishing up the drag and drop feature of our app so that once we uh, drag and drop and sort some stuff and then we refresh the page that it actually saves to the database and we remember which order things are in. So this episode is based on the two previous episodes before. In two episodes ago, we made uh, this sortable with sortable JS and in the last episode we set up stimulus reflex and I had the idea that I wanted to try to actually Go ahead and save the data to the database via stimulus reflex. So that's what we're going to do um, And um, it should be fun if you want to get more content like this definitely like this video It helps me know what kind of stuff you are into and uh, you Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're putting out new stuff every single day also, I need to mention this is part of a bigger series over on our website, techmaker.tv. I'll link to it down in the description. But if you want to see the entire project build out from start to finish, you'll need to check it out over there. Um, but with all of that said, let's get started. To get things started, we're going to just create a new stimulus reflex called tasks. And so running this will create a couple of files for us and we'll make use of both of those. If we jump over into the code, I wanna go ahead and open up my tasks show, actually no, it's projects show page. So what we're going to do is right here we have this unordered list tasks list and then we have list items where all of our tasks live. And what I'm going to do is actually um, create a stimulus JS controller right here, or yeah, it's, it's specify a controller rather. And this is going to be a little bit more of an involved setup than in the last episode where we basically just let stimulus reflex handle everything. So the first thing I want to do is add a div right here above this unordered list. And I'm going to give it a... Um, data dash controller of well let's call it just tasks right because that's what we called it above well when we ran the the command just a second ago so the controller will be tasks then so i'm going to tab all of that in and go ahead and move this up right here then what we want to do is i want to add a let's see a data action on side of, or on my unordered list itself and I'm gonna give that a an event of drop and whenever something drops I want to trigger uh, tasks and then I want to call the event sort or the method sort okay so if we go over to our tasks controller we'll see that this is basically uh, importing this application controller which is something that is um, I believe defined by stimulus reflex or at least modified by them I haven't really checked but we're importing the stimulus controller and then the stimulus reflex controller and then we're essentially uh, doing some stimulus reflex setup in here and they've got some uh, essentially hooks set up that you can like lifecycle hooks set up that you can use so just to kind of show you where that comes from. So inside of our task controller, we need to define that method that we were talking about in the other screen. So we're starting to write Ruby here. Uh, we want to say sort, and it's going to get an event. And all I want to do for now is just console log out here um, as a sanity check, just to make sure that all of the wiring is set up properly. So with that said, let's go start our server. And once we do that, we'll jump over to the browser. So if we click into this first project and then we open up our console here, um, if we grab one of these things and we drag and drop, you'll see that we're getting our here printing out. So when I came in to do this the first time, it didn't quite work for some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why. I, I ended up changing the code around a little bit and then changing it back to what it was before and if maybe if there's a syntax error I missed or something, let me know in the comments, but um, I'll put the code up on GitHub, so, and I'll be working with it now, so if you spot anything that's off, you know, just let me know, but it's working now, I don't know what I did exactly, because honestly I can't quite figure it out. Um, 
But anyway, so what I want to do and what the idea behind this is, is what we, we're going to add in here a, a class on the list item. And I'm going to call this task item. And I'm going to add a couple of things here. So I'm going to add a data task ID. And I'm going to give this the ID of the task. And then I'm also going to add, um, well, we don't need anything else, actually. I think that's probably good. OK, so then what do we want to do? So essentially what I want to do is when somebody drops one of these tasks, I want to trigger a reflex, and I need to provide it with the current sorting of all of the stuff that's on the page right now. And in order to do that, what I want to do is, first of all, I need to get the element that represents the element we want to send over to the reflex. So I'm going to say let element equal document get element by ID. And then in here, I'm actually going to get the tasks list. And then let's see, what else do we want to do? We want to get the tasks. Um, so what we can do to get that is grab everything by class name, which we just added. Get elements by class name. And in here, we'll just say task, task item. So what this is going to do is return back to us an HTML collection object. And we actually want this to be an array. So um, I guess we can go ahead and just pull the task IDs off of it. But what we need to do is start by saying array dot four tasks. And this gives us an array instead of HTML collection. OK, so once we put this into an array, what we need to do is basically map through. And we're going to so iterate over the tasks. And then what I want to do is basically return back um, first of all, I want to include the index here also, and then I want to, I'm going to go ahead and put this on multiple lines here, and I'm going to return, um, an object, and I'm going to say that it's the, uh, task ID, actually I'm just going to say ID, and I'm going to say task.id, and I think that's actually wrong. What I need to do is say task dot data set dot task ID. And then I want to say position is index plus one. And instead of task IDs, I'm going to call that tasks. Then finally, we're going to say element dot data set dot tasks equals tasks. And from here, what we're going to do is actually trigger stimulus.js. And in order to do that, what we have to do is say this.stimulate. And then we say which um, reflex we want to stimulate. So we're going to say tasks, reflex. And then we need to specify the method that we want to trigger. And I think this needs to be a string. Um, and let's just call this sort also. And then last, we just need to pass in the element that we have set up here. So what this is going to do, this is actually going to look for something over on our tasks reflex, because we haven't defined anything on yet. And again, I'm going to kind of stick with my uh, sanity checks here and make sure that I'm not doing a bunch of work for nothing. So I'm going to write a sort method, and then I'm going to write binding.pry, and I'm actually going to jump over to my gem file. And we're going to install that really quick. Uh, fry Rails. And then come over here, stop the server, bundle. Start the server back up. And let's just see what we got now. So um, I'm going to refresh. It's going to make me sign in again. Okay, so now let's give this a shot. So it's freaking out because I declared tasks twice. So what I'm going to do here is just say task elements, maybe elements, 
and then I'm going to grab that and pass that in here. And it looks like I also wrote this wrong. This should be from array from task elements. So let's go refresh over here and see what we get. So let's go ahead and close this. It doesn't look like we have any errors. So let's try to drag and drop and just see where we are. So now we should be stuck in a pry over here in our terminal. So what I want to do is take a look at the element. I want to look at the element dot uh, data set. And we can see here element dot data set dot tasks. And we just get these string object objects. So what we actually need to do is probably turn that into JSON. And then we need to parse the JSON over here. Okay, so let's pop back over to the code really quick. And what I want to do is basically say my dataset tasks are going to be JSON.stringify. And I'm going to pass in those tasks. And then over here, we don't actually need to do anything yet because we're not there yet. So what we can do now is jump back over here, refresh this page again, and let's drag and drop and see where we are. So now we've got element.dataset. And now you can see here that we have our tasks in a string, JSON string. So we can say JSON parse. And now we get uh, something we can actually work with. So what we want to do is actually just use this information and update uh, an attribute that we haven't even defined yet on our task called position. OK, so let's get that going. Um, so to do that, we actually need to stop the server again. We're going to run, uh, we're going to create a migration. So we're going to say Rails G migration. And we're going to add position to tasks. And I'm going to say that it's position integer. And then we'll just Rails DB migrate. And from here, we should be pretty good to just start our server back up. And um, let's go see what we can do in our code here. So essentially what we want to do is say um, element dot dataset dot tasks so we'll say uh, tasks equals json dot parse that and then we'll say task dot each do task and we'll say task equals um, well that's not really great what we could do is say um, hmm well, you know what? We'll worry about the performance in a future episode. I just want to get this working for now. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just look up each task. Um, so we'll say saved task or maybe like, dang it, Lord. So we'll say maybe like task record equals task dot find and we'll have task and uh, I think that comes in as a string like that. Is that how that looked? Let's scroll back up. It's going to be a ways up here. So we have, yeah, we have a string ID and we have a position. Okay, so we want to do that. So then we're going to say task record dot update position and we'll say task position like that. Okay. So I'm doing a lot more work than I would normally do before actually testing it somewhere, but I'm going to go ahead and jump over into my um, show here. So we have project.tasks, and here I'm just going to say uh, .order AS or position ASC, so order by the position ascending. Got to still fix my syntax highlighting eventually. Okay, so that should basically do it. So let's go back. I think our server is running now. And let's go back to our browser. And I've got to fix this too, where it keeps kicking me out every time I restart the server. Okay, so let's refresh this here and let's give this a shot. So I'm going to mark a couple of these 
as uh, different statuses, so it's, really, it's a little bit easier to spot. So now if I drag one of these to the top and I refresh, now it's on top. So now it's keeping our sorting just like that. So that pretty much does it for this episode. It's kind of a different way to do things. I think that the first bit of this with uh, Stimulus JS would be, you know, you could do that pretty similarly um, in a lot of other tutorials potentially that you've seen. Um, but you would normally be, you know, posting to some sort of uh, endpoint in an actual controller or something like that. Using the stimulus reflex method here is kind of interesting. I just had the idea earlier today, I wanted to play around with it since we just finished up the sortable JS video and then the last stimulus video in a previous episode, um, or stimulus reflex rather. So um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, and if you wanna see more content like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So with all that said, I will talk to you in the next episode.